you juxtapose that against a former president who once again, for an hour and 13 minutes, went into the uh, lion's den with Kristen Welker on Meet the Press, which just as a side note, mm -hmm. if she hosts that show like we saw in week one, that show has probably got about 12 months or less left before they start looking for someone else because the ratings have got to be, other than the Trump, which I'm sure she got great ratings for, right. that is going to be abysmal. She is in no way, she doesn't even have the ability to come across as anything but a partisan um, cover for the Biden administration, an active, activist for the Democrat Party, a donor of the Democrat Party, as her parents are, I believe, big donors. I mean, she, she doesn't have an inkling of news in any bone in her body that she wants to get to. She sits there and asks questions and then doesn't let him speak. And she did it throughout the interview. And then they edited it to live fact check the things that they didn't like that he said. I mean, she was so rude and obnoxious as the host and questioner in this interview with Trump. I mean, it was really hard to watch. I mean, she'd ask him something, he'd start to answer, and then she just, just like she did in the debate when right. she was the moderator back in 2020. She was awful then, too, sitting there just running for cover. I mean, she, she, <laughs> she has the nerve to ask Trump about if he was to get elected, he, would he appoint an attorney general? You know, they're all caught up in this revenge thing. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you? Now, she's supposed to be a reporter. And she's sitting with the former president who has undergone from the current administration the biggest, <laughs> most dangerous weaponization and targeting of their political opponents we've ever seen. And she has the nerve to ask him about targeting your political opponents and doesn't, doesn't bring it up <laughs> because she doesn't have it in her to say anything about, so does it concern you that the Department of Justice? No, she could never ask that question. She says... Well, are you gonna are you gonna appoint an attorney general and like uh, like who's gonna like uh, go go after your political opponents? <laughs> she asked him this seriously, <laughs> like she's really concerned about it, but she doesn't bring up it that it's currently happening. No, because it, to them it's okay. See, this is fine if it's if it's from them. If it happens to them, well, then that's the problem. They, they, it's it's all it's all fine as long as they can do it. But don't you dare try and do that to us because that's unfair. And of course, she's she sounds she sounds like a she sounds like a, a delightful person actually to hang out with. And then she runs cover <laughs> and interference when the when the answers get to a point where she does. Well, there's no, there's no. Well, there's no 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 no. Well, Mr. President, there's no there's no evidence. Of, Was she having no, a Leslie Stahl moment? There's no evidence of anything according to her, sir. Sir. <laughs> no, it's not yet. Yeah, not that bad. She has her own annoying way of doing it. Oh, 